Hey, hey, hey. How is everybody? I'm on a long drive. And I was getting lonesome, so I was just running YouTube stuff through my mind. And I thought, well, I'll go live and see if there's anybody that wants to entertain me. Or listen to me talk to myself. <laughs> Look, y'all, you're seeing me for the first time without a ball cap. I still have this dark hair hanging on in the back. As soon as it's long enough, I'm going to cut it off. But here it is. Old gray mama. It's starting to rain. Doggone it. Hey, Miss Kelly. How are you, darling? I'm doing a drive time live. Hey, Miss Tina. Ooh. Tina, I haven't got to look at anything that you might want me to look at in a couple days. Life's been crazy, but thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you're doing. Hey, Miss Barefoot Lice, how are you, baby doll? And thank you, Miss Barefoot Lice. You offered me some entertainment today. How's that doggy doing? I thought I'd go live before it gets dark on the West Coast. Miss CJ Blaze. How are you? Y'all love my title. Oh, don't you wonder what I'm talking about? I'm going to get on here and talk crap about everybody that does fear porn. Not. <laughs> Y'all know better than that. Let's have some fun. This world's going to hell in a handbasket. Let's have some fun. Fear porn. You know... Let me tell you, most people in the truther community on YouTube really gives two shits about everybody in the world, you know? They really do. I do. I worry about y'all. I care about y'all. Things have been a mess around here. Oh, gosh, Kelly. Honey, I'll keep you in my prayers. Is this thing... Thank you, Miss CJ. Um, hi, El Michelle. I figured maybe before it got dark, I better go live. I was thinking about you. Hey, did you see my question, El Michelle? Don't say, don't say what that was. Um, but are you available? Like, Let's see. I don't know what 11 or 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time is over there. Hey, Miss Elish. I was praying for you today when I took my shower. No alerts again. Well, I'm getting ready to fix that, y'all. But it's a surprise. All the problems y'all been having with me, don't worry. This old girl's got a few tricks up her sleeve. Missy Wheeler, how are you, darling? But anyway, back to my topic. People really do care. Now, yeah, there's clickbait. Shoot, I've used clickbait myself. Tonight's not clickbait. That's not clickbait at all. Y'all know I'm odd for several channels. And somebody gets to talking about something that's really going on in the world today. In two miles, continue. My uh, map's talking to me. I might need to pay attention. I might be at a split or something. I'm doing something that I said that I wouldn't do in these times. Going more than the farm away from my house. Let's see. I better watch these signs, y'all. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I used to be very familiar with this area. I haven't been up this way probably in seven or eight years. But I'll just take y'all on my trip with me. Let's see. No, that's not what I want. But anyway, you know, in 
pies. Somebody gets to talking about what's going on in the world. And there's always people. This is fear porn, fear porn, fear porn, fear porn. Listen, our world is a scary place to be in right now. But you don't need to hear the truth and hear what's going on and be afraid or dismiss it because it's called fear porn. Use the left two. Continue. For 150. Okay. All right, shut up. I don't need to hear you no more. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. But anyway, there's fearful things going on in the world right now. The most fearful thing that's going on in the world right now is Satan knows he has limited time. And man, is he in a sprint. I mean, who among us has not been attacked spiritually in the past year? Longer than that, but especially in the past year. I mean, who among us? None of us. So, when you are watching information that channels are trying to give you, and they're telling you the truth, that you can click off of that video, and you can punch in a topic, and you can find multiple articles or foreign news sources that are talking about it fear porn when it's fear porn that means it's fake and embellished listen shit going on in this world right now is so bad you don't have to embellish it are you kidding me <laughs> but you don't get scared what's my byline don't be scared just be prepared that is true. If you're in that Bible studying, showing thyself approved, you get yourself in a spiritual relationship with Jesus, which is the only way to God. There's nothing to be afraid of. I truly believe where the Bible, you know, talks about Israel becoming a nation and that generation shall see the return of Christ. We're that generation. There's only a couple of things left in prophecy to happen, y'all. Can you imagine what an honor it is that our generation was chosen? We happen to be plopped onto this earth when we're going to see Jesus come back. I mean, can you imagine that? Can you imagine? Can you imagine, of course, a lot of people's going to miss it and not see it when it first happens because every time, every, you see, everybody has their face in their phone. You got to look up. You got to look up. We're going to be seeing Jesus in the clouds. You're going to have to look up every once in a while. I know. Most of the time we look up, we see all that crap sprayed in the air and what they've done. And I know, I know, I know, I know. But Jesus is going to bust through all that crap. He's going to be here. The generation, when Israel becomes a nation, shall not pass before the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are special people, so we have nothing to be afraid of. He's going to take care of us one way or another. Are we not going to have to suffer? Why? Yeah, we're going to have to suffer. We suffer every day. I mean, life sucks sometimes, y'all. But it's your frame of mind. It's how you look at it. It's how you take it. You know, you can wrap up in a, like a, your favorite blanket in the world and just wallow around in your misery. Or you can thank Jesus that you're alive and that you know him. And prepare for what might ever come. Listen, there's a lot of channels right now, channels I love, channels that their content creators are my friends. And people feel like they're getting it shoved down their throat. Prep, 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 prep. Well, heck yeah, people are. Because there are people among you, 
And I'm quite sure you have family and friends that think you're crazy that aren't crapping. There's thousands of thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands of people in just our nation that does not crap. Those content creators are truly trying to find any trigger to open up the blinded eyes, open up those deaf ears, and get people to get ready for whatever might happen. And it could be anything, y'all. And then again, Jesus may come, you know, the few prophecies we have left, it's on God's time. Not even the angels in heaven know when Jesus is coming. It's on God's time. He could snap his fingers, those prophecies be fulfilled, boom, we look up Jesus in the clouds. But, we don't know when he's come back. So, why not prepare? And if you say, oh, well, you know, it could be in the next two, three, four years Jesus come back. I don't need to have that many preps. Okay, when we're gone, there's going to be people left on this earth. We're leaving the preps for them. We're paying it forward. And hope and pray that those people are touched by what we so lovingly and with faith in Jesus prepared for our families. They might be touched and accept Christ and they might end up in the sky with us one of these days. Hey, Mel, what are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? Well, if they don't like to listen, then fine. I ain't taking care of them when, I think you said when, oh, you done told them. Yeah, listen, there's people, I mean, I've done made it quite clear. Oh, let me tell y'all though. I think I've mentioned before I have family that thinks I'm crazy and I happened to call one of them this past week and I was going to tell him happy belated birthday and he said were your ears burning I said no I said no but were you talking about me well he kind of scooted off of this top you know didn't answer me and and chit chat a little bit and said they were pressure canning some green beans I said no wait a minute let's go back what was you talking about before and then you know laughed and tried to scoop by it again and I said no I really want to know what y'all were talking about me over I said well you know we're just talking about you were right they don't think I'm crazy anymore the prices inflation the shortages I have family that no longer thinks I'm crazy y'all what a blessing is that ah, they were already pretty much prepared anyway because they live like my grandparents do. Freezing, canning, dehydrating, you know, doing everything they can. But somebody has seen the light. But I pray for my family all the time for God to open their eyes and their ears and let them see and let them hear and understand what's going on. But I've made it clear to everybody, I will not take a pot of food out of my grandchildren's mouths to feed anybody that would not listen to me. Nope. And I won't take one square toilet paper from them either. Or myself. You know, we've already seen that shortage. You know, I ain't gone out and bought 50 packs of toilet paper at one time. Pack a week, pack every two weeks, pack once a month sometimes. Well, if I go once a month, I'll get two packs. But there are old videos. And here's what got me thinking about this. I'm getting ready to take down a bunch of my videos. And y'all understand why later. But anyway, um, I won't be taking these down. But there are videos that I did about prepping on the cheap. I held up products. I think... One of them was prep for seven dollars a week for seven days a week or something, and and of course we've got some inflation now, so you have to add the inflation onto these almost three-year-old videos. But and one was prepping for two people for under twenty dollars, but that didn't count the bag of rice that would last two people for two months. Okay, let me see. 
way more fearful of God's wrath. Yes, ma'am. I did you answer me? Let me watch for your comment. Um, are you available late tomorrow night, Elm Shell? Late, late, like 11 or 12 o'clock my time, or is that still off limits? Just a yes or no is all you have to say. And I'm going to watch for your answer this time. <laughs> oh, mercy. Yes. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Um, but, you know, there's some, you know, people getting aggravated to these YouTube creators and you know, oh, that's all they ever talk about. Poor old survival living. He gets all kinds of crap over his um, payday preps. He does. You know, Alaska Prepper does payday preps. You know, Alaska Prepper is to the point that he is so prepped up that, yeah, he's doing payday preps of stuff that most people aren't ready to be trying to prep. They need their food. But for people that have been prepping and have the food. I mean, man, he's reminded me of stuff. I thought, oh my God, I never even thought about, you know, stocking that up. I don't know what I was thinking because then it made perfect sense when I saw it. But, you know, I've been hardcore prepping since 2014. There's still things I don't have. But I did the important stuff first. Anything that I'm doing, what in the world happened? I'm on an interstate highway. I shut up though. I saw it was gone. But anyway, I was saying I still feel like I need more Q-tips, cotton balls, Vaseline. I've got all the other stuff. Hair conditioner, hand lotions, all that stuff is fluff. You know, that's fluff. But I'm to the point, I feel like I can stock up and have fluff and, and have it a little bit easier you know there's nothing wrong with that nothing Ooh, barefoot lice i looked up those um things to fit on uh quart jars the wick little light things that is awesome i've got them in my amazon cor uh, cart i haven't ordered those yet y'all go look at um barefoot lice's last video all of her videos We've got Barefoot Lass trying to pick up subscribers. We've got Lisa R. Hall trying to pick up subscribers. Anybody else in here that has a channel, by all means, say, you know, can you drop my link? I've helped a few people get above a thousand subscribers. I love to help people grow. I mean, I had help growing. So why wouldn't I want to help people grow? The more. So why wouldn't I want to help people grow? The more of us that's giving out the news, and we all have a different perspective on everything, but, you know, if, if somebody wants to start yelling fear porn, no, this world is a daggone scary place right now. And anybody that don't see that it is has their heads buried in the sand that, you know, they need a diagnosis of ostrich syndrome. I mean, there's all kinds of crap. You know, every once in a while, I have to put it down. I, I'm very guilty, and this week was a crazy week. And I went through and read titles of videos so I could see what was on the news. I've watched very, very few videos. Um, but it just was not a week that I could. But... It's not fear porn. It's not. Fear is of Satan. Content creators are not trying to be fearful or scare anybody. They're trying to wake people up to the fact that we don't know what is going to come down the pike next. Thank you, girls. We don't know what's next. You know, sometimes just the unknown is scary. Look at that sky behind me. Look at that. 
it's pretty, but we know what it is. Isn't that something? I'm telling y'all right now, I don't think my boyfriend has a dark blasted thing to do with where I'm at or where I'm not. Somebody messing with my blasted channel. Oh my lord. Hijackers and hackers. They're going to have to meet their maker one of these days. Sure will. I mean, y'all can't even see the mountains. See barely? See barely the mountains over there? I'm on a plateau for crying out loud. There's no mountains here to be. And there's freaking towers all over this interstate. Unfortunately. Sorry I should be. What did she say? Sorry I should be posting y'all's links. I'm stuffing my face. Well, of course. We all gotta eat. I just ate a little bit ago. Don't worry about it. You just eat and help your little self there, girl. Are you eating anything out of your garden? You want to make me jealous? When you're on LOL, you're not there much. I'm asleep. What? What are you talking about? He's on. Oh, y'all must be talking about. Mark. When he's on like. If I'm not at the farm, I'm usually asleep and I miss it. But I'm getting, let me tell you, <laughs> since I gone virus, buddy, my stamina is zip zilch zero. I can't believe as dark as it is out here, how bright it still looks on this screen. That's awesome. But yeah, the mountains are way, way, way over there. I ain't no mountains on this side. So I don't know what in the world is wrong with this buffering. But when it uploads, it'll be gone because I noticed it and I shut up when talking. So you don't miss anything. I wasn't talking. But people are not trying to put out fear porn. You know, to give current events of what's going on or to talk to you about Jesus and your salvation, none of the 